a very good morning students welcome to my channel you are watching seema makhijani with the chemistry class today this topic is for class 11th but carries over to class 12th and senior classes also the name of the topic is hans rule of maximum multiplicity now this rule comes during the quantum model of the atom which means when you are done with your quantum model the model that we are presently pursuing only then this rule comes into picture now what is the function of this particular rule the function of this particular rule is it helps in filling electrons in a subshell all right now the first thing that you already know is that electrons are to be filled in the subshells in increasing order of energies that was of bohr rule which is already on the channel you can have a look at it if you do not know this this is the prior requirement to understand this particular thing okay now so according to ofpa you have to fill the electrons in subshells in increasing order of energies now when i talk about subshells what are the subshells that are known to us s p d and f aage hai you have g h i j but as of now we don't require them so till element with atomic number 120 you are happy with these let's hope that till now or later we may need them but let's see that would be when it when the time comes okay so your subshells are sp df now you very well know s subshell has only one orbital that is why i would be representing as one box p orbital p subshell sorry has a three orbitals in it if you remember px py pz so we represent it like a box with three compartments representing px py and pz not necessarily in that order but that idea whenever it is a p subshell it has to be three boxes similarly for a d subshell you have five orbitals in all the five orbitals are known to you x y y z z x x k minus y square and z square so whenever you draw the d subshell you have to make a longer chain with five boxes in it coming to the f subshell an f subshell has seven orbitals so when you are representing it in the box configuration the f subshell would be having seven boxes representing the seven orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 7 7 7 is that fine so the first thing that we are going to do is we will write the electronic configuration in boxes to understand this concept fine now let me take an example the best example that fits is let's take nitrogen okay when i talk about nitrogen what is the atomic number of nitrogen nitrogen has an atomic number of 7 so you need to fill 7 electrons in the subshells fine now the increasing order of subshells according to of bohr rule is that you begin with 1s 2s two electrons in 1s Two electrons in two s. Then you go to two p. How many are you left with? Two plus two four. You are left with three. So your two p only has three electrons. Now the same thing. I would be representing it in the box format. S in the box format would only be a single box because it has only one orbital. Two s subshell also has a single box. A p subshell is like this. Is that fine? So this is your one s. This is your two s. this is your 2p as i just said an s subshell whether it's 2s 4s 8s would always be one box 2p 3p 4p three boxes p would always have three boxes because p subshell has got three orbitals in it now important thing is when we are going to fill this the agenda is we need to follow hans rule hans rule of maximum multiplicity says that when you are filling electrons in a orbital then you have to first fill them singly and then will you pair it up what are which orbitals am i talking about we are talking about orbitals of a subshell which means when you are filling electrons in the degenerate orbitals these three are called as degenerate orbitals what do i mean by degenerate orbitals they have same n and l value what do i mean by that for a 2p subshell what is the n value 2 what is the l value 1 so all these three 
to be x to be y to be z all these three would have same n and l values so these are called as degenerate orbitals so your hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity is for electron filling in a subshell or we say it is about electron filling in degenerate orbitals fine and there's a rule to follow let's start with the electron filling now this subshell you first fill one electron that is clockwise and then you fill the next anti clockwise now this can be done like this full arrow upwards full arrow downwards or to simplify it we've done partial arrows okay so two electrons done coming to 2s again one electron and then the other electron you can fill the anti clockwise arrow before clockwise also but as a convention we fill clockwise arrow that is the headed up arrow first that's the convention no rules now when i come to this there is a problem the rule says hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity statement is that electron filling in a subshell is to be done singly first till all the orbitals of the subshell are singly filled only then will the pairing begin also the orbitals should have parallel spin electrons which means jab hum yahan pe electrons bharenge to first thing unko singly bharna hai and the second thing they should have parallel spins which means i start filling like this one electron second electron you cannot fill it here the reason is the rule says filling of electrons in a subshell or in degenerate orbitals has to be done in a way that they are to be filled singly first with parallel spins same spins conventionally we do a clockwise spin otherwise you can even do it anti clockwise there's no harm that's not wrong so the second electron cannot come here it can go here yes it can go here yes because they are of the same energy so i take the second electron here coming to the third electron where do i take the third electron again here because they are to be filled singly before you pair up that is the only option you have when you are filling up the electrons in nitrogen let me take another example to explain the hans rule of maximum multiplicity example number 2 that i am taking is oxygen when i talk about oxygen the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so you have 8 electrons to be filled let's write the electronic configuration on the basis of quantum numbers or the off bore principle so 1s two electrons 2s two electrons and 2p how many electrons are total eight two done two done you left with four more so the next subshell would have how many four so that's the configuration of oxygen now let me do it in a box format to understand how do you fill the electrons so your 1s has a single box because s has a single orbital always 2s also has a single box क्योंकि s में हमेशा एक ही ऑर्बिटल होता है टू पी विल हैव थ्री एनी पी वुड हैव थ्री ऑर्बिटल्स एंड दीज थ्री ऑर्बिटल्स आर कॉल्ड एज डीजेनरेट बिकॉज दे हैव सेम एनर्जी दिस इज सिंगल ऑर्बिटल सो नो कंपेरिजन दिस इज ऑल्सो सिंगल ऑर्बिटल एंड इट हैज एन एन एल वैल्यू एज जीरो सॉरी एन वैल्यू इज टू एल वैल्यू इज जीरो हेयर द एन वैल्यू इज टू एल वैल्यू इज वन फॉर द थ्री ऑफ दैम दीज आर द सेट ऑफ डीजेनरेट ऑर्बिटल्स नाउ वॉट इज द ऑप्शन दैट आई हैव supposing i try it out i'll try it two three times to make you understand what are the options which are allowed to you if i take the example of oxygen fine these are the options that i have fine so option a this two electrons finished lower energy done second energy level also done now these three are of same energy electrons are to be filled in increasing order of energy according to off bar but when you come to a subshell which has got more than one orbital then the hans rule plays its role you have to start filling it one if you do this four electrons this is incorrect second option 1 2 3 4 now 1 2 3 9 i need the fourth electron this this is fine any one of them can be paired there's no harm in it but normally in books what you would find is acha there's another option can i do it like this 1 2 3 and then i make it like this that's correct there is nothing technically wrong in it you are filling it singly first with parallel spins only you've used anti clockwise which is technically not wrong 
we as a convention we do it this way that we fill it clockwise first now these are parallel spins these were also parallel spins when you fill these three fine so the next is the fourth electron which go this is what you would find it in books but these are also correct according to hans rule of maximum multiplicity the statement for the hans rule of maximum multiplicity is it states that while filling electrons in degenerate orbitals or orbitals of a subshell they are the, the meanings is remains same they are to be filled singly with parallel spins that is same spins only then pairing of electrons begins is that fine that's the rule and i've taken one example i'll take one more example for you to understand this uh, let me take an example of let's say iron fine i'll take one example of iron with that i would end the topic of hans rule all right what is the atomic number of iron symbol fe z is equal to 26 fine now let me write the electronic configuration according to quantum numbers 1s2 2s2 2p6 10 are filled fine 3s2 3p6 how many are filled 18 4s2 that makes it 20 electrons done now you have a 3d in the 3d you have how many electrons left 6 fine now if you want to understand the hans rule of maximum multiplicity for this i would again do the box configuration for 1s you have a single box for 2s you have a single box for 2p you have a box with three orbitals 3s again a single box 3p box with three orbitals 4s again a single box 3d a box with five orbitals that's 3d that's 1s 2s 2p is that fine i hope the boxing is understood whenever you draw a d orbital it has to be with five boxes in it because a d orbital has got five orbitals in it fine so let's fill electrons now 1 2 3 4 done p when i fill it first option is you will fill them up singly first only then pairing starts so 3 and now 3 more done coming to 3s over this is not a degenerate this is a single orbital here in 3p you have three orbitals so one first second third first to be filled singly only then pairing begins 4s ends like this 3d 1 2 3 4 5 5 how many were there Six. So the six electron can be in any one of them. It's not wrong, but it is better to write in the first, just for a convention, no other reason. Is that okay? So that's the configuration of iron. The other advantage that you understand from this configuration is: Can you tell me number of unpaired electrons? These are paired. All inner orbitals, all inner subshells are paired. so how many unpaired electrons if i ask you can you clearly see 1 2 3 and 4 is this number of unpaired electron n is equal to 4 is understood whenever an identity has unpaired electrons such identities are also called as paramagnetic is that fine so this particular identity has unpaired electrons which is equal to 4 so this becomes paramagnetic any identity which has unpaired electrons is said to be paramagnetic if all electrons are paired then in that case it is diamagnetic fine that was one important part the second important part it can anybody tell me the valence electrons in iron now what do you mean by valence electrons valence electrons are the outermost shell electrons now which is the outermost shell first second third shell fourth shell third shell which is the outermost shell valence shell is outermost shell that is 
highest n value, the principal quantum number. This is the unpaired electron. Principal quantum number value is 4. How many electrons are there in outermost shell? 2. So the valence electrons in case of iron comes out to be 2. Is that okay? Fine. I would do the unpaired electron in this also. Have a look at the configuration of oxygen. Let me take this one. Count the unpaired electrons. 1 and 1, 2. So there are only 2 unpaired electrons. So unpaired electrons is equal to 2. Again this also becomes paramagnetic. Fine. We have one more example. That is nitrogen. Have a look at nitrogen. 1, 2, 3. These are the ones. Where are the unpaired electrons? Only in the outermost shell. For unpaired you don't need to check the inner ones. Because inners are fully filled first. Coming to the outermost. You have got 3 unpaired electrons. So again you have unpaired electrons is equal to 3. Again this also therefore becomes paramagnetic. Fine. So with this I end the topic of Hans rule of maximum multiplicity. Please share the video, subscribe the channel, pass it on to your friends. Thanks a ton. Bless you loads.